Some people might think I'm a little crazy for doing this, but I'm about to reveal to you my top five best selling products from my general store. These products and this general store are the reason why I was featured on marketwatch.com, why Obelo invited me onto their YouTube channel back when I had hair, and why I was invited to speak on stage at the annual Shopify summit in Berlin. These products and this store are what has changed my life. It allowed me to branch out into different dropshipping stores. It allowed me to build my advanced dropshipping academy. It allowed me to start to create my own long-term brand. I've been working on this brand for a very long time and there's gonna be more about that later on in the video. So if you're just getting started with dropshipping and you have no idea what's worth trying to sell, or even if you have been trying dropshipping for a while but not really seen a lot of success, this video is gonna reveal some of the best products that I've ever sold and the reasons why they did so well. Also, if you're thinking about holding off on dropshipping because of the whole coronavirus thing, then don't. I decided to launch this long-term brand three days ago. Even in the midst of everything that's going on, I launched it three days ago and it's already up to 500 pounds a day. And because it's looking so good right now, even in the current climate, I'm looking to scale that. So over the next few days, over the next weeks, I'll be growing that even further. So if you're thinking of holding off because of everything that's going on, don't. It is still working. It is still possible to make a profit with dropshipping. Now you might be thinking, well, what about the shipping times? And that's a fair comment to make, but based on what I'm seeing on my other stores, on my other dropshipping stores, shipping is generally the same right now, even though, Everything is sort of a mess in the world. China are kind of back up and running, so their production is, is in full flow again. Products, orders are flying out of their factories as you would expect. And what I'm seeing from tracking those orders myself and keeping an eye on them, my customers are receiving them within the time frames I would expect. I have no idea how, I have no idea what kind of, the, how it's set up logistically around the world, but it is still working, they are still landing, and I'm not getting very many complaints at all. So back to the topic of this video, I'm about to reveal to you the top five products that generated me over $700,000 with my general store. So make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. So I'm gonna reveal these products in reverse order by the number of units sold. So it's gonna be from the lowest number of units to the highest number of units and these are my top five products. Now a little side note on this, these aren't the only five products I've sold on this store. I've tried to sell a lot of products on this general store. Some of them didn't work at all. Some of them did a few thousand here and there, but these five that I'm gonna reveal are the biggest players on this general store. So we're at number five, we've 1,319 units sold. We have the dust cleaning sweeper. Priced on the store at $19.95, this product generated over £26,000, which is roughly $32,000. Now, I was actually only running this product for a few short weeks um, because I had issues with the supplier and I ended up having to stop it. But basically what this does is you can sort of attach it like this and you attach it to that end of your hoover, the end of your vacuum cleaner. And then with these little plastic strands, it kind of goes into the sort of into the, like the nooks and crannies of everything and you can kind of clean it up really easy and get the hoover going, the vacuum cleaning. And it, it was a really simple product. It cost me about a dollar or two to actually buy this. And it was a really impressive product that flew off the shelves when I started selling it. The reason this product did so well was because it has a mass market appeal and it solves a big problem. If, you know, if you're trying to vacuum around, you're trying to get into a radiator or a toolbox, you know, you don't want to be putting in the full hose or sometimes you can't even fit the full hose of the vacuum in there. So having these extra little strands that basically allowed you to suck up tiny little pieces in really difficult and hard to reach places, it really stood out to people. And because of the video that I ran with this, it drew a lot of people's attention and people just started snapping it up. And if it wasn't for the issues of the supplier, then I probably would have pushed this even further. But this was a really nice product that did really well in a short period of time and generated a nice healthy $32,000. So we're at number four with 2,357 units sold. We have the Coppers Snow Goggles with a value of 82,409 pounds and 76 pence which equates to roughly $103,000. Again, this doesn't include any upsells, and in the case of the snowboarding goggles, I was selling a $29.95 pair of snowboarding gloves and a $9.95 scarf, and these were surprisingly bought quite a bit. So the overall number that came from you know, these particular snow goggles was a lot higher than $103,000 because of these upsells. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the basic units of these individual products and not really focusing too much on those upsells. Now, I think the reason that these did so well was because they just really stand out. You can really catch somebody's eye on a video feed, on a video ad when it comes to you know, selling these products, especially if you can get real good footage of snowboarding, skiing, the mountains, you know, it really catches your eye, it looks really interesting. People are gonna stop and watch those ads, especially if they're interested in snowboarding and skiing. People are gonna be drawn to these products. And these came in all the different colors and styles, so there was a lot of different angles you could work with and a lot of interest and a lot of kind of personalities that you could work with as well. 
and you know, this was a really good product and probably one of the first biggest products I ever run on my store with these snowboarding goggles. So in at number three, with 2,578 units sold, we have the Rock Bros Photochromic Cycling Glasses. These were priced at £39.95 on my store and this product generated £102,991.10, which is roughly $126,000. Now I don't have any of these at home to actually show you unfortunately, I can only really show you the products on AliExpress, but this was a really surprising win for me and it was actually off the back of my number one selling product that made me actually try and sell this product as well. So it was because of my number one selling product that I found my number three selling product. The reason this product works so well was because of them being photochromic lenses. Now what they do is they protect your eyes from UV rays. So when there isn't a high level of UV in the air, they're transparent, they're perfectly clear and they just protect your eyes from wind and debris and stuff while you're cycling. But if the UV index increases, then they actually start to darken and that protects your eyes from those harmful UV rays. Now this problem didn't work straight away. I had to test different variations of video ads and this is where it becomes very important to actually try different ads when you're testing a product. If you rely on a single video ad, there's a very good chance it might not be the right one. You could be leaving a lot of money on the table. But the problem with video ads is a lot of dropshippers, myself included, are not very good at recording, editing, and basically creating a fancy video ad. It's just, it's something that's a challenge, something I've personally struggled with. Um, but I've kind of made okay video ads over the years. I know they could be better. I've made some terrible ones as well. And I think a lot of people are in that situation where it's time consuming and it's hard to do and you never really know what the real structure of a video ad should be when you're trying to create high converting video ads for your dropshipping store. So for me now to get my video ads created, I've started using the company called Viral Ecom Ads who are today's video sponsor. The reason I started using them is simply because they've found a really effective proven method to increase video conversion rates. So earlier on, I mentioned that I've actually started a long-term e-commerce brand that I launched three days ago, and I'm actually using ads from viral e-com ads to drive traffic to that store. That store is already running at 500 pounds a day after three days. And the four videos that e-com ads did for me, the click-through rates on them are amazing. So if you are thinking of going with viral e-com ads, I would recommend getting the split testing package because if you follow this channel, you know that I'm all about testing and it's very important that you test your video ads to figure out which one is the best one. That way, if you know it doesn't work, you know it's got nothing to do with your video ads and you know it might be your website or your product, so then you can start to troubleshoot a lot easier. One of the main reasons why I chose Viral Ecom Ads is because it's relatively inexpensive. You know, I may have made a lot of money, but I'm still really tight when it comes to my money. I don't like spending if I don't have to, so you know, getting Viral Ecom Ads for the price that were was really good, plus the one to three day lead time is just quality when you're in a rush like I am and you want things done there and then. So that is definitely something that really drew me to them. If you subscribe to this channel and you follow this channel for a while, you will know that I don't like to promote things I don't believe in. I get contacted daily by companies wanting me to push things onto you guys and I, I generally don't bother with it. And I only really share things to you when when I believe in them and when I actually think they're high enough quality for you guys to try. So Viral Ecom Ads, they've done great with my ads. Hopefully they can do great with yours. So if you want to give them a go, you can use code CHRIS20 for 20% off your order. The link to them is the first link in the description down below, so go and check them out. So we're down to the last two products, the two biggest products I've ever sold on my general store. In at number two, with 3,707 units sold, we have the King 7 sunglasses. Priced at £29.95, this product generated £111,024.65, which is roughly $136,000. The beautiful thing about these King 7 sunglasses, other than just the way they look, because they're actually quite nice, is the fact that it's an evergreen product. This product can be sold all year round because there is sun everywhere in the world all year round. There are places you can sell sunglasses to. And this is why these were so powerful. Me, obviously I focused on the summer months because that's where the majority of your sales can come from. Um, but these were absolutely quality. These were really easy to sell, simple video, simple carousel ad. Just, you know, people were snapping up. They look good, they're gonna draw people's attention. So this product was found simply by searching for sunglasses on AliExpress. I remember the first time I tried to sell these, they were having a heat wave and I thought, Sunglasses, everybody's out, let's find sunglasses, bang it up. Threw up a simple video, threw up a carousel ad, and these absolutely flew off the shelves. I mean, I was shocked how quickly these went and they still sell to this day. I put them back on every now and then. It's a nice product. I still get organic sales from Google from these now because of the amount of traffic that actually I pushed through with them. These really were a great find, you know, they're 
I don't think they really suit me. I've actually talked about these on my on my YouTube channel before, but the uh, people people loved them. People absolutely loved these, and it was it was a really great find for the store. Finally, in at number one, and one of the biggest reasons why Obolo flew me out to Berlin for that YouTube video is the Rock Bros polarized cycling sunglasses. These sold 5,917 units, priced at 29 pounds and 95 pence on my store. This product generated. 177,214 pounds and 15 pence, which is roughly $217,000. Again, this wasn't included in any upsells, and you can imagine with those amount of sales, how many upsells I actually got on this. I was selling all sorts of things from, from multi-tools for bikes, to cycling gloves, to cycling lights. There were so many possibilities with these that they were an absolutely incredible find. And that, that 177,000 pounds, or $217,000, that was just for these. That's not including any of those upsells. So the number was far higher than that. Um, these were an absolute killer. And the, the, the funny story behind these is it was actually a friend that found these on Express for me. It wasn't even me. They recommended it because they're into cycling and they suggested that I try and sell these on my store. So I did. And, this was the biggest product I had in my store and the reason it worked so well was because of this tiny little plastic frame, this right here. This is where you actually put prescription lenses from your opticians into those and when you attach them to the sunglasses over the nose piece, I can just do that now, okay, I can get it in, I'm rubbish at this, uh, you attach it in and you sit in the glasses, a little bit straighter than that because I can't click them in. But they sit straight there and you can actually wear these cycling glasses without needing contacts or trying to wear your normal prescription glasses underneath these lenses. So these are really, really powerful. And the fact that it came with all the other lenses as well, so for different light levels, people absolutely snapped this up. Cyclists were loving it. Um, this, yeah, this was absolutely an incredible product for my store. If you haven't seen the Oberlo interview, then make sure you go and check that out because I'll talk about these in a lot more detail on there as well. So go and check that Oberlo video out. There's gonna be a, a card popping up at the top of the screen. So have a click of that, watch that video as well. Uh, but yeah, this was an absolute killer of a product and one I'll probably never forget. So in total, those five products generated over $614,000 for my online store. Looking back at them, you know, I know I made a lot of mistakes when I was selling those products. I definitely didn't know as much as I know now when it comes to dropshipping, marketing, Facebook ads, scaling products at six figures, you know, a lot of money was left on the table. So that $614,000 probably should have been a lot higher than it actually was. Now the rest of the revenue on my store that made up the rest of the money that this general store has created with just came from those random little products that I've tried to test here and there. Some worked, some didn't, some could be scaled, some couldn't be scaled and you know, not all of them really made it to, to be a winning product. But that is the nature of dropshipping. Not every single product is gonna be successful on your store. That reality is something I try and get across to people as much as I can on this channel. Not every product is going to be a six figure product. Not every product is going to be scalable. Some products you might only be able to scale to 100, 200 pounds a day, but if you try and go any higher than that on your ad spend, they will just plummet. Your, your ROAS will just drop off a cliff. And that is just the nature of e-commerce. It's the nature of dropshipping. And the sooner you understand that, the lot easier this is going to become. I've tested hundreds of products on that general store over the years, and these five products probably make up 80 to 90% of the total revenue. So what you need to realize is it only takes one product for it to change everything for you. You know, in my time, because of the amount of products I've tested and the knowledge I have, I found five big winners just on this general store. And that isn't including any of the other stores that I generally don't cover much on this channel. Um, maybe I will in the future, but at the moment, because they are still running, they are still making sales, I don't want to reveal too much yet. Uh, same with my new brand that I've just created. I don't want to give away that just yet to this channel. Uh, maybe in the future, once it's you know got to a point where I'm, I'm happy and it's sustainable, but right now it's a little bit early to share that information. But really what you need to realize is that this whole dropshipping model comes down to trial and error. But as long as you know the certain steps and then certain criteria you need to look for when it comes to products, you have a better chance of finding that six figure winner. And when you do, it can change everything for you. So hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully it's got your mind working a little bit about how you can look for products, what kind of sort of things you need to be looking for when you when you are keeping your eye open for products you can sell. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more useful information on this channel about dropshipping. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, but if you've got any comments, any questions, drop them down below. I'm still answering everything. But that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey.